Hello, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I've got a Fervor's Day card for you today. Now it's not actually Fervor's Day in Australia, that's not till September, but I know it is in the UK and the US, so I thought I'd celebrate and do a little Fervor's Day card show with you today. Now I've got these Ganzai Tambi Starry Colours watercolours. These are a set of different coloured gold. I absolutely love these and what better excuse than a Fervor's Day card. So I am just, as you can see, just randomly splotching various colours of these gold watercolours on this cardstock. Now this is 100% cotton, it's from the Uniquely Creative kit that I bought and I've just cut it down to size roughly about a 6x4. I will end up cutting it down again later once I've finished this. There's no rhyme or reason to the order I'm doing it, I'm just trying to mix up some of the colours, some of the dark ones, the lighter ones and just to get them randomly across and every now and then I'm just spritzing with this Distress Sprayer as well just to make a little bit more wet and hopefully get the colours to run into each other to look a bit more natural as well. Now I do wish I'd taped down this watercoloured paper. It is 300 GSM so it's quite a thick one but as you can see it does start to warp slightly with the amount of water and watercolour that's on there. So rather than just let it dry naturally I've decided to speed it up using my heat gun just to help it along the way and as I'm doing this as well as always with watercolours they tend to go a bit lighter and a bit paler as well as they dry so as I'm doing that I'm also now just reaching for a bit more colour and just colouring in some of those little splotches that I think need to stand out a little bit more. Now it doesn't take long to do this at all, most of the video has been sped up just twice the speed and I've not done too much editing as well which is a surprise, normally I do a lot more when I'm card making but it was a nice quick card, easy card to put together. I decided just to use that background card front and use this embossing folder and this is one from Jerice and you can see it's got a bit of a, uh, a gap in the middle or an area in the middle where I can actually use that to put some die cuts. I do like that effect with the flowers at the top and the bottom it just kind of frames the word and the I've got these alphabet dies from Paper Roses and this is what I'm going to use in the centre just to um, die cut the word dad. Now by the power of YouTube I've gone off on my big shot and I've actually cut out just on some scrap cardstock um, the word dad and I've done this three times and then you saw me then just going through some of my different gold foil coloured pieces of paper just to see which colour foil would work best with the little background I've got as well. I really like the effect of using embossing folders just to give a bit of dimension on the card front and give a bit of interest especially with this metallic sheen as well it really does help to bring out the colour of the card front. Now with these extra little pieces you can see I'm just using this Ranger Multipack Medium just to stick those together. Any liquid glue would do of course, it gives you that wiggle room just to get it in place. And I've got three lots of the white cardstock that I'm just sticking together and then after that I'm just going to use the gold foil to put on top. Being very careful not to well, try to not to get glue on my fingers because I know the foil is not very forgiving at all. It will show every little mark and scratch. So you do see me using all of my fingers, all of my wrists even, to try and press these down without getting too much um, glue on the the top layer, this gold foil layer on top. You could of course, instead of doing this three times, if you've got some adhesive um, foam, you could die cut those pieces, that would be a lot quicker as well. Or even if you have just got foam strips as well, you could make them work on this. But I just wanted this fuller version and I've got plenty little bits of card scraps as well, so it's a good way of using those up. Now I've almost finished those, I'm just wiping off any excess glue that's going to be showing in the centre of those letters and then I'm going to stick them on here as well. Now I'm going to start with the centre one just to make sure I've got it as centred as possible, starting with this A and then doing each of the letters on the outside as well. I think another way you can make this card is rather than using the word dad, you could obviously put daddy or pops, you'd be great for grandparents as well as just your, your father as well. There's plenty of space on this little 6x4 depending on what size die cuts you're using. You could even put a name in there as well, you know, if you've got a stepdad that you wanted to celebrate with. Now this little pocket full of sentiment strips, again these are uniquely creative and this was just from um, a cut apart sheet and it's got lots of different quotes on here. I've already used a few of the Father's Day ones, I've not got many of them left and I'm just looking now because it just it does just say Father's Day and I really want it to say Happy Father's Day. 
so I do get out another one of my little pockets I've got them all separated in here um, based on occasion whether it's birthdays or Christmas or love or family or all of that jazz and I do find another sentiment strip that's got the word happy that I can just cut off and add to the front now if it had been in the same font I would have tried to join them together but it's slightly different font so I'm going to keep them separate on the lines and I'm just going to use some of this um, adhesive foam strip now just to put them on the back just to pop them up as well because I have used an embossing folder I can't really leave them flat on that it's not going to stick very well so I'm using these and then I'm just going to not quite sure where the position is going to be just yet so you see me now just on a little play around and deciding where I actually want those to be so I want to keep them together, I don't want it to say Happy Dad Father's Day so instead I've got them both at the bottom here and that's just going to say Happy Father's Day now there's not much more to do, I've just got to actually put it on a card base and I do have a heap of these coloured ones that I bought from a local scrapbook store um, which is good value actually, we get the cards, the envelopes and you get six of them for like two dollars so I have a good selection of colours of these that I can just use and I'm just going to use some of this adhesive tape as well just to stick that down on the back decide to go for this nice blue colour, the only reason is because I've got more of this colour than any other card because I guess with the gold it would probably go with any other colour wouldn't it really and I didn't actually think about the sizing of the card front until I actually went to stick it down on this point as well but I looked out, it fit perfectly, it wasn't too far off just a little bit too narrow at the sides, if I had my time again I would have cut them down a little bit more but you can see here I've just slowed the video down just hopefully you can see that final effect of the embossing with the metallic paint as well so a nice shiny card for your father's day I hope I've given you some ideas and inspirations for any future cards you may do and otherwise I hope to see you next week have a great crafting weekend thanks for watching